Welcome once again to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Now let's go back in history just a little bit uh, to the year 2014 and share with you what happened on this day, the 30th of August. On this day, of course, it was in the deep of uh, Lesotho's political crisis and the Prime Minister back then, Tom Thabane, fled to South Africa as, of course, uh, the army allegedly um, had uh, carried out a coup or staged a coup. On the 3rd of August, uh, he alleged that a coup had been launched against him, and this followed previous allegations, which caused him to suspend Parliament over possible extra-constitutional manoeuvres. It also followed pressure from South Africa to maintain the democratic process. The Bane said he fled to South Africa amid fear for his life. And, of course, in the incident, it was reported that a policeman uh, was killed. Uh, the very next day, Metzing resumed or assumed rather responsibility for running government uh, while the Soto police opened an investigation into two of his employees over treason and murder for being allegedly complicit in working with the military. Um, and that, that was this day in 2014, the 30th of August. Pretty interesting there. And, of course, uh, also seeing how that uh, eventually turned out and where South Africa uh, currently is. Um, also in history on this day, let's move to another African country. And, of course, this one, a very popular name in Uganda, Bobby Wine. Uh, popular mostly because of his music and then his political um, journey. He's one person that I believe has been arrested the most times of all, um, you know, political... Uh, well, you know, everybody who has been anti-government and opposition party members. Bobby Wine, I believe, has been arrested the most <laughs> in African history. He was on this day also violently arrested after being freed on bail. Um, he was rearrested for attempting to leave the country. Uh, Ugandan police violently blocked him from traveling outside the country while he was on his way to seek medical treatment in the United States. He was also then prevented from boarding the flight. He was first arrested on the 15th of August after a rioting broke out between rival parties ahead of a local parliamentary election. He has been in and out of court in even last year, you know, in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, if you remember, there were also reports of him being arrested multiple times, sometimes also with uh, tear gas being sprayed um, on him and his um, followers. Um, you know, and, and this has been the, the political journey of Bobby Wine. He contested the election and lost also last year, um, but has continued with the struggle to free the Ugandan people and, of course, represent them um, in uh, office as president. Um, he has a very, very interesting political history, a political story. Um, and hopefully, let's see how it turns out. You know, he might just win it someday. But on this day, on the 30th of August in 2018, he was arrested after being freed on bail while trying to leave Uganda to the United States for medical treatment.